Hey everybody, welcome back to another unmotorized moment of inspiration. I am your host, as always, Dr. Dustin Bain. Let me tell you, I am fired up. Today's message is going to be short, it's going to be simple, it's going to be succinct, and hopefully it acts as a hatchet to hit you right between the eyes and wake you the heck up. Here's what I'm talking about. I went to four places this morning. Four. I went to a gas station, I went to a coffee shop, I went to a smoothie shop, and I went to Walmart to get groceries. Here's what happened. Here's the commonality amongst every place that I went this morning. No passion, no enthusiasm, no drive, no zest, no purpose. Nothing. Walmart, as a matter of fact, I walked by six employees. There was no good morning, no how's it going, no how can I help you. It was simply they were just glazing over, putting in their time to get their paycheck and go forward. They were missing on the entire aspect of what service is all about. And this is one thing. This is, this is me. I'm a freak when I go to these places because I'm looking for this. I want you to imagine the one person who's walking through Walmart, walking through the grocery, all the places that I went today, wherever you are, the one person that you come in contact with, that that's their only interaction for the day. That's it. That's all. They may have family who lives in a different state. They may just move to town. They don't know anybody. And they're just looking to meet somebody. I'm not going, you're going out there to hit on people. I'm just saying, just acknowledging them. What do you think would happen if you walked in and you cranked up your, uh, what you could do for a person, your service? If instead of when they walked out, like for example, when I was at Walmart, here's what happened. <laughs> uh, it's always stores. I don't know what it is. It's me. I buy my groceries. The lady does not say hi doesn't greet me. She simply takes the food. Beep, beep, beep. Do as I do at, at numerous other places, just as it happens everywhere else. And it gets to the end, and all she asks for is my money. She says, 116.97 or whatever the heck it was. I'm like, there you go. No greeting, no thank you. Just, here, here's what it costs. Give it to me. And I want you to think. Just, just get in my freaky head and think about this. When people aren't acknowledged, what do they do? One of two things. They isolate themselves completely or they do something stupid. And we're starting to see that around the world more often, unfortunately. And it can all change by simply acknowledging people. So here's the challenge I have for you today. It's simple. It's simple. It really shouldn't even have to be brought up, but it's simple. Acknowledge people. Acknowledge them. If you're used to saying, hey, good morning, carry on a conversation with them. A perfect example. I had a patient in a couple years ago and was just like this glazed over look, grumpy as anybody could ever imagine. All right, glazed over look. Well, it turns to find out that he was, he was, he was widowed. His, uh, he had lived by himself for years. He'd passed away years ago. And he was just this grumpy, grumpy man. And I'm like, why is this guy in my world? And it had been a few weeks. He started getting adjusted. He never really warmed up to me, never smiled, never really talked. And I'm like doing my own, my old crazy self. Like, hey, what's going on? All that stuff. And he stood up and he's standing there. And I'm like, uh, I got one more test I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you lift your hands up like this real quick. And he did it. And I went in for the hug. And I squeezed him. And I backed away thinking he's either going to kick me, <laughs> we'll see where this goes, and he smiled. He said, I can't remember the last time I got hugged. I said, okay, well, I'm going to hug you every time now. And he smiled more, and I smiled, and I said, that's good. What can you do today to acknowledge somebody? Crank it up. Crank it up. Lives are at stake. People are out there just thinking that they have to get noticed by doing something stupid. All of it can stop, but you got to do your part. That's all I got for today. Everybody knows what to do from here on out. Stay inspired. Do your part. See you later.